Hey, what's going on, Square Nation? Uh, so, victimhood is a state of. Can you guess what it is? All right, stay tuned till the end, till you, so you can find out how to get out of victimhood. But victimhood is a state of inaction. Okay, whether you're not taking action enough to move yourself out of a situation, you're not paying attention to your surroundings. If you are actually a victim of something, if life is happening to you, it's because you're taking, you're not taking any action. So uh, Emily Nagoski, who's a PhD, um, I forget which book she wrote. Maybe you know Emma. Um, but she said that wellness is not a state of being, it's a state of action. So this is kind of a, an akin to that, of saying, if you're feeling like a victim of something, if something's happening to you, if you, have, if you feel like life is happening to you, then you're literally not taking enough action in your life in order to command what's going on in your life. So we talk about being at cause versus living at effect. So are, are you being affected by life, or are you living at cause, which means you are creating the change in your life? Honestly... The people who avoid victimhood, per se, are the ones that carry themselves in a way, that move in a way, that conveys a message like, just don't mess with me, all right? Now, clearly there's going to be exceptions to that rule, and if you've been victim, please hear me loud and clear. This is not a derogatory comment about you and that it should have happened to you. I'm simply saying that think about any time in your life anything has felt like it happened to you and then realize that you probably were not taking enough action moving toward what you wanted and something that you didn't want ended up finding its way into your life because whether you want to say you attracted it or your energy was there or you were stagnant and didn't move or didn't take action, stuff like that. So what can you do today? Where do you feel like something's happening to you in life? Is that in your relationship? Is that with your kids? Is that your health? Uh, my weight, it just keeps getting, I keep getting more. Um, is it my professional career? Like, am I not getting the promotion I want? Where is it that you think something's happening to you? And you can pause and say, okay, I feel like this area of my life, it's affecting me the most, which means I'm going to take action in that area, first and foremost, as long as it's, you know, your, all your needs are getting met, like food, shelter, water, you know, all that kind of stuff. So take action in those areas, or in that one area, that you say, this is, feels like it's affecting me the most. Like, I feel the most burdened, I feel the most affected, um, it's, it's negatively impacting my life the most, and you're going to see transformation happen everywhere in your life. Because as soon as you take action in one area, then you're going to start being motivated and inspired to do actions in other areas. So take this and take action because you deserve it, but you're only going to get in life what you deserve when you become the person you need to be in order to deserve what you want to get. That's a mouthful. So do what you got to do now in order to deserve what you want, and you'll be amazed at what, how everything else in your life starts conspiring for you. Life happens for you instead of it feeling like it happens to you. All right? Hope you have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow for the Daily Insights. See you guys. Adios. Hasta mañana. Nos vemos.